guns fire in our state election with a high-powered visitor's unexpected arrival and key promises on police and land tax. Adelaide police crack a maydam involving fake driver's licenses. Murder charges dropped against one man charged over a road rage stab. And the mangled mess that was once worth a million. This is Adelaide's National Nine News with Kevin Creese and Rob Kelman. Good evening. Also tonight, it's only pre-season to the showdown. But first, both major parties have fired heavy artillery on only the third day of our state election campaign. While the government made a major promise on police numbers, the Liberals flew in their biggest electoral set, the Prime Minister. Opposition leader Rob Kerrin used the momentum to promise $75 million in land tax relief. He's the Liberal Party's man. Kim, I'm sure they'll continue to work together very well. It should be very entertaining. Looking forward to it, Robbie. Good evening, everyone. After the break, Andrew McLeod joins us live to talk about Neil Craig's angry outburst at training. Cult hero Shen King Q, non-committal on his Adelaide United future and on Australian Olympic dream shattered on the slopes of Torino. Beautiful. <laughs> That's it from me. Thank you, Kim. On A Current Affair, you're going to answer a question that every driver's interested in when it comes to buying petrol, Tracy. Yes, Rob, that question is, do you get... Good evening to you. Well, the cool nights and warm days have been very good for the apple crop and royal galas are now being picked in the Adelaide Hills. Temperature-wise today, Mount Gambia made 26 degrees, Renmark 35, with Adelaide having a top of 32.3 degrees at 25 past 4. The overnight low, 14.8 degrees, coming at 20 past 5 this morning. Currently here, 29.7 degrees. Up at Mount Lofty, it's 21.2. Our barometer starting to fall and the humidity, 31%. Looking at the charts and over the past 24 hours, this trough and again, slight seas. Now, if you're going into state tomorrow, there will be a few showers in Brisbane, one or two showers around Darwin, but elsewhere, it'll be mainly fine. At home today, 19 degrees at Cape Willoughby, but a very hot 39 degrees at Moomba. The overnight